what's the good word, y'all? DKB here. So we finally have a interesting bit of information that came out, and this is purely speculation, purely rumors. But Carton from the Carton Show uh, spoke today, uh, or at least yesterday, by the time you guys are seeing this, mentioning that the New York Jets aren't the only team officially in the bidding for Aaron Rodgers anymore. Uh, with the Green Bay Packers, we went from negotiating against ourselves to suddenly another team uh, in the picture. And uh, it's kind of weird because, again, I haven't heard anybody else really mention this or anything of the sort. Uh, Carton, from what I understand, doesn't necessarily have any you know, direct insider information from the Packers or anything like that. So I don't know what source provided this information to him. And I, you know... Um, should go ahead and put out there that the uh, the same sources and all that kind of stuff happened to have mentioned that the Jets were unaware that the Packers were uh, negotiating with any other teams, which would probably be a huge point of contention for the New York Jets, especially since you uh, have to consider Joe Douglas just went uh, public announcing that there's no intentions for us to look at any other quarterbacks. Uh, it will be a show of bad faith, um, uh, you know, during these negotiation times. Um, and, you know, they just don't want any distractions. Full steam ahead unless Aaron Rodgers, um, you know, retires or things just completely fall through. Uh, Joe Douglas is fully committed to bringing Rodgers to New York. So to hear that the Packers have, you know, essentially broken this, uh, you know, uh, non-contractual agreement that the New York Jets and Green Bay Packers would only solely be discussing with each other is it's very irritating, <laughs> I guess, for starters, right? I mean, uh, you know, all's fair in love and war, I guess, but, uh, you know, Joe Douglas, very straightforward, uh, honest man. It doesn't seem like there's a lot of games, a lot of showmanship or, you know, chess type moves necessarily that are put out there. He's gonna, they're going to tell you what it is or what it isn't. And so, you know, obviously a smart move for Green Bay to go out there and take a look at any and every offer that potentially may be out there on the table. But you guys, you know, the New York Jets and the Green Bay Packers are so deep in this thing at this point that uh, it's almost forcibly excluding any other team unless they're willing to go out there and uh, provide, uh, you know, an unmatchable offer that the New York Jets are willing to give. Right. And you have to go out there and think, what would that be when they can go out there and potentially give up two first round picks for a guy like Lamar Jackson? Or they can go ahead and just try to offer up a first and maybe a future second next year. Uh, and then you also have, you know, Brian Gutenkens sorry, coming out and mentioning that it won't take the 13th overall pick to get a deal done. So. If the rumors are true, I don't understand the secrecy and kind of the timing of this whole conversation with bringing in the 49ers into a potential deal. Um, it does all seem like it's on the basis that uh, if things fall through with the New York Jets and not necessarily that things are actively being discussed. So the timeline is also in question. Was this during early negotiations? Did this just come up and they're tabling it just as a backup option? It's, uh, it's intriguing nonetheless. You also have to consider the 49ers don't have any extremely valuable picks this year. They have multiple third round picks, um, courtesy of also having those compensatory picks aid them out. But they don't have a first or second this year. Uh, from what I understand, they would be willing to offer potentially all three of the third round picks and then a first round pick in 2024, which would be a strong offer. Does that necessarily beat out having two second round picks from the Jets uh, or potentially a second and a first? I don't know. I guess that's, uh, you know, depending on who you speak to. But I think it's a very fair offer for what we have going on, especially considering the longer we get uh, or the closer we get anyhow to the draft the less resources the Packers are going to have to try to build around Jordan Love in the right now. And with them probably not picking up the fifth year option, we'll see what happens there for Jordan Love. You're talking about a one year deal for you to go out there and really evaluate, uh, you know, who you think is going to be the future of your uh, franchise, considering um, you guys were willing to walk from Aaron Rodgers. So, <sighs> It's a bit concerning. Uh, I would feel I don't feel necessarily anxious at all, though, by the news, considering we haven't heard any of this information from Trey Wingo or, you know, uh, uh, Ian Rappaport, Adam Schefter, none of like the big sources, uh, Diana Rossini in these cases. Um, and I'm not being on social media, so I don't know if I'm missing anything. Please help fill in the gaps. But uh, 
I'm not too anxious from that standpoint, but I doubt that this is a rumor that's just flying out of there from nowhere, especially this late in the game. So uh, if something did get leaked to Carton, um, you have to wonder what is Joe Douglas thinking right now, right? What is the New York Jets game plan now? Because that essentially in my eyes, and you know, from a, you know, a tactical mindset perspective, I consider that a shot fired, right? If I'm Joe Douglas, I'm saying, okay, these guys are tired of the negotiation at this point. Uh, they're willing to kind of show their cards a little bit and put out there that, uh, you know, we don't have to take it or leave it with the New York Jets and what you guys are offering. Joe Douglas still has options out there. Of course, Lamar Jackson, the only uh, concern I have with that really Injury history, of course, yada, yada. All that stuff aside, it's the fact that it's not going to be a guarantee. Let's just give up the two first and get him. We still got to agree to the contract. And then the Ravens can always swoop in and say, hey, we'll just match it. You're still left out. Uh, there's been a lot of quarterbacks that have flew off the table. Derek Carr, who I still think was the overall team's preferences offseason, already gone. Guys like Jimmy G gone. Um, maybe you go out there and still take a swing on a guy like a Jameis Winston or something like that. But uh I've been so far removed from any other quarterback at this point, I don't even remember who's out there officially available in free agency anymore. So you would have to get very creative if you're Joe Douglas to feel comfortable with whatever your backup plan is going to be. I would even say if this somehow ultimately ends up falling through that you seriously take a look at the draft now and say, can we go up there and maybe get... Uh, I don't know, maybe get the third overall pick uh, and maybe, you know, try to get yourself a Richardson or if Bryce Young somehow falls due to the size concerns, uh, you seriously consider looking at that. But um, it almost feels like we are back at square one. Every time we get a little bit of news, we get something bad that completely wipes away everything else. And not in the general sense of like people overreacting to the bad news. It legitimately ends up feeling like uh, there's uh, no progress made whatsoever. So I'll kind of have to lean on uh, some of the most recent press conferences about Joe Douglas feeling like he's in a good place in terms of where the negotiations are, although obviously they would love to have the deal done. Um, and we'll kind of leave it at that. But let me know what your guys' uh, <laughs> I guess stress levels are right now and kind of your opinions on the whole situation potentially a three-way triangle san francisco 49ers green Bay packers new york jets if we aren't bidding against ourselves anymore uh maybe the packers are potentially thinking that raises the price tag but uh i don't know i'm curious for your thoughts this is definitely an interesting one that i wasn't expecting to come up uh, a couple weeks before the draft but uh again looking forward to what you guys have to say and i'll catch you again peace